Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my agroforestry project. Uh, during the group of this vanilla plant, uh, I do continuously uh, edit the flicker to the base of this vanilla plant. The aim of the edition is to keep or to maintain the soil moisture of the good medium of this vanilla plant and to keep the good medium fertile. Because uh, the leaf litter will be decomposed and release a lot of nutrients, but it takes uh, time, maybe one year or half year, it's depending on the type of the leaf. During the establishment of this project, I maintain the the tree, the various uh, species of tree is remain intact. So the leaf litter could be continuously supplied by the, the tree. I, as you can see here, various types of tree here are growing, such as Champaka, uh, Artocarpus, etc. A lot of tree here. Continuous addition of the leaf litters into the base of the vanilla plant is very important because the leaf litter is required by the plant for the organic matter and for the nutrient. By addition of these uh, leaf litters, the topsoil will be continuously increased and after the decomposition of the leaf litters the nutrient will be uh, also released so by continuously added uh, the leaf litters the plant will acquire sufficient nutrient and I hope that the vanilla plant could grow uh, very well. In this plantation, the growing tree not only produces leaf litters, but it also produces seed. This is uh, champaka fruit. It contains seed. This seed is a favorite food for a various bird during the uh, feeding the wild chicken could scratch the leaf litters that has been collected what is the the problem that can be raised by the the wild chicken when the wild chicken scratch this leaf litter from the base of the panilla plant, the root of this panilla will be exposed to the air and very quickly dry because as we know that a panilla shallow a rooted plant and very easily uh, exposed to the air and it means the root will be dry. If the root is dry, then it might unable to to take up water or nutrient because embolism there will be air in the root therefore and then you have the vanilla plant to avoid that possible problem then we have to fence these uh, leaf litters around the base of the vanilla plant about uh, 75 centimeters in diameter so when we collecting leaf litters from the ground we just put it in the fence so the leaf litter will not be scratched by the bird and the the leaf litter will be remained in this place. 
so it will uh, decompose and release nutrient and will be taken up by the vanilla plant. The other benefit of this fence is to avoid the leaf litter to be flown away by the water flow. This land is a slope uh, when there is a rain and the water flowing and it might take also the, the leaf litter. So therefore, the benefit of this, uh, this pen is to avoid uh, this leaf litter to be flown away from this plantation. The, the leaf litter could continuously increase the top soil and increase the perforation of the soil. Therefore, the percolation of water into the soil is uh, much better and nutrient release after the leaf litter is decomposed also remains stay in this uh, area. So the, the vanilla plant could grow better. By using this method in the agroforestry system, we keep the tree to maintain our environment and we harvest the benefit of the leaf litter produced by the tree. And we could also feed various birds that their, their song is very beautiful. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you healthy and keep safe during this pandemic. Thank you.